does this look at all familiar to you? Well, it should. <laughs> this is the same exact map that we did down. for the turn 112 victory. Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't want to move there, but it happened. I sent out a poll asking you guys if we should try to go for an even faster victory. Because if you watch that game, you saw that I might have made a few mistakes. You know, like not choosing religious settlements and stuff like that. So we're going to try to do that. 75% of you said, yeah, let's do this. Let's try to go for a really fast victory. So that is what we're doing. Let's hopefully we get, yeah, oh, this flood happens every time I play this game. Void Singers. Spectacular. I also found out that only 39% of you are actually subscribed from that. Is that the first day, the first video? What's going on? Why not push that button? So we have a strategy. Okay, I looked, I played another test game and I actually won on turn 82. I didn't record it because I think we can do better. What we need is we have two kind of resources around us. We have incense. We have three copies of one in this site. We have another copy right up here, so that's four. We only need four for a Monopoly. We also only need four Mercury. There's one Mercury here. I think another one up over here and then a billion over here. So our plan right now is let's see here. There'll be a barbarian camera that spawns a little bit to the right. Yeah, there's Norway. Okay, uh, I don't know what you know where our capital is. Being Norway is not essential. Getting the relic from the first tribal village is definitely not essential. And it was actually super lucky that the uh, it happened the first game. However, this next game, what is essential is actually getting Floyd Singers from there. Let's go ahead and choose discipline. We 100% do not need gawking. We need urban planning. Our build order now, there's our hero. Let's go for our civics, go for early empire to get land superheroes. We want to finish this scout. Ideally right now, we would be focusing on a hero. However, we do not have a hero. A little bit of a pickle, okay? However, we can, we can go a couple turns into a builder as we will definitely need to build a builder in the future. I also moved the scout to the south because I knew there's a tribal village right here. Oh. Huh. Okay, another recon unit. I would rather have another hero or, you know, literally anything else. Is getting a hero around this turn would be, is this really good? Especially what, what we really want it for is actually take out these barbarian encampments to ensure we get a golden age. So let's go ahead and choose city patron goddess. I mean, by that I mean religious settlements. <laughs> I think we're going to try something a little bit new. We're going to find our city, I think, right here. It's a little bit close to Norway, since they're literally on the other side of this river. But this is closer to the incense. And originally, I was thinking about finding it here, but then we lose a chop. And we're going to be chopping a lot of forests this game. We definitely do not want to do that. We will also find a city. Another flood. Interesting. See, make sure you're working good tiles. It's okay. Still no hero, which kind of sucks. But we're going to, oh, there we are. Wait, first one there, still no hero. Come on game, what's going on? But we getting that first, there. The first envoy for Yervan is really essential because Yervan's going to claim this Mercury tile right away. They need to be Caesarean them because you're going to found one of your cities while I'm going to found one of the cities right here. Because this will give us one, two, three, because this Mercury will be taken by Yervan. And if this tile is claimed by Yervan, the only way to really get through there is having Caesarean up there so you get open borders. Our next technology we're going to go for is we're going to go for mining and then right for irrigation. So we're going to finish this builder. Actually, yeah, we're going to go here for the holy site. Oh, man. I'm not getting the hero. I actually kind of mess things up a little bit. But I want to mind finishing this builder first. There, following our next city. Excellent. And here, just go right for another builder. And I love that no, what, another hero, because we would be building another one right now. Fortunately, we do not know. The key points that we need to do, well, we can take this out. There we go, 30 more gold. Spectacular. The key points or key things we actually need to do this game is we need to find a religion. And we need to get some heroes and sacrifice them. 
Here's our first builder. We're gonna move this. We're gonna move this warrior up to the north in case Norway gets any silly ideas. I'm hoping they don't. Now the name of the game is to basically go right for a religion. There's her. Oh, Horky is our first hero. Oh, that's way better than like anything. That's so good. Okay, uh, let's. Oh, we don't have mining yet, so we cannot chop you. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Barbarian outpost. Okay, over there. You know, honestly, I'd rather, you know, Hercules is good, but the second hero is what really matters. Anything that ignores movement terrain. There we go. Hmm. Let's queue up. Maybe queue up another settler. Yeah, we're going to queue up a settler and let's go ahead and chop this, get Hercules right away and go here and finish this thing. Actually, instead of a settler, let's try to get Holy Say Prayers. Yeah, we need a couple holy sapers. Sorry, that was a. Hopefully, the production goes towards that. We need to get a religion ASAP. Get a religion to get the triple year tourism for all of our faith, for all of our districts and stuff, is really, really strong. Additionally, now that we got Hercules, this is going to really help things out actually building in other districts. We can just go like this. I think we should be able to build a holy site. It's a plus four. Yeah, let's just do this. Place this down, get the builder, and then move Hercules up there. Ooh, Hercules. This is so good. There's our first Holy Star Purse. Should be done. We're going over here. We want to definitely farm at least one of these sources of corn so we get the irrigation boost. We also need to buy some tiles to get over to this thing. Maybe we should actually buy one right now so maybe it'll naturally expand over there. I do not like the natural expansion up here, even though the three food, two production tiles, pretty good. But we will not really need that. Man, getting those holy sites, that's really, really good. The thing with our hero is we do not need them to actually get, you know, die right now. Because the relic is not worth that much. There's another tribal village. Here, the dark brown. Cause with, oh, Beowulf. Excellent. Beowulf, go over here. Go ahead and do Beowulf. Probably should get another Settler after this one. Obviously, I'd rather have Magnus. But that's not really possible, you know, with our current situation. There's Mansa Musa. Oh, they already have a relic. Oh, that's a good deal. They already have a relic. That is really, really good to know. We can't trade them everything yet. Man, them getting a relic. They must have got super lucky to have a tribal village. That is actually going to help things out a lot. And we are 24 out of 25 for our golden age points. Once we find another AI, it should be one more error score. And then we'll be actually up to 25. So we'll get a golden age pretty easily. I want to actually go down to this tribal village. I don't want to sneak away from this stupid warrior. I think the other AIs are like right over here. I probably should have went south of this lake. Can we sneak over there? Not really. There we go. What do they have? What secrets do they have? One new population, early empire boost. That's pretty good. Good to see that Norway actually got on board. So probably, oh, we can't get it yet. Hmm. Can't get your shot. Once we get a religion, and we'll have three cities, so that'll be 12 gold per turn. Right from that. Go over here. Man, I really wish. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, we have a governor title. Let's go ahead and put Magnus. This has been only like one turn. So it's, I guess not 100% optimized, but it's really, really close. We're gonna wait till Magnus is established here before chopping anything else down. We'll have one chop there, two chops, and we'll also get incense. We actually need to have four builder charges. The man who has There's an irrigation. Two more turns now. 
Let's go for iron working next because we want to be able to chop some jungles. We do have a lot of faith. Let's see, what are we at? It's only a few more turns. We can wait this. It's totally fine. So we're not going to have any like heroes. We don't have enough kind of heroes or critical mass, we may say, to actually sacrifice all our heroes to get the religion this quickly. Another envoy, all in going into Yurvan. What does Yurvan want? Construct an encampment. We could definitely do that. Magnus was established here. Let's go ahead and chop this down. Down to 13 turns. Let's move you over there and it should be enough now. And then we'll have two heroes. This one took out the encampment. And we're gonna go right over here. Now in our in our uh, now in our capital, let's see. Three turns, so it's not really useful to actually get a holy site prayers. Shrine, preserve, granary, all this other stuff. We don't need population anymore. Maybe we should just go for more builders. Make sure I, I wrote down kind of what we should do. Voice singers, religious settlement, astrology, mining, irrigation, build order capital, scout, hero, settler. That's pretty much game over now. <laughs> All we need to do is just get our relics and just kind of chill. I wouldn't mind actually getting another settler down here. We should maybe just go for another settler then. No, we need a builder. If we get a builder, we can actually improve this source and this source. Go ahead and chop this. Two turns down for Beowulf. Beowulf will go down here and take the care of this Kamet and then we'll sacrifice him. Kamet close to our capital, which is a kind of an issue. I'm glad the scout has not come up there yet. There's our religion. Let's go ahead and found this. Obviously choosing the one that gives us triple faith and tourism. And we're going right for the gold one. Initially, well, boom, six gold per turn because we have the religion up there already. Let's go ahead and fawn our third city now. Go ahead and delete this. I'm thinking, hmm, Hercules is great, right? I guess we don't know what encampments are. We need to become Caesarean with Yurvan. Right now it's just three. Mansa Musa is at one. We could go, so state workforce next to the political philosophy. So we'll have another one there. Well, we need to heal you up to actually get rid of it. During the first playthrough, I tried to like just uh, delete the hero, but I didn't see the option was available. And now I figured out why you need to have it in your territory and it needs to be at 100% health. Otherwise you cannot get rid of the hero. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna just buy a builder here. And then obviously you're gonna go right for, oh, we don't have another hero. Let's just go for a heroic tales in our capital. And then a builder. This city is founded a little earlier than I expected it to actually be founded. Let's go ahead. I guess let's go for a builder. And after bronze, we're going straight for currency. Because then we'll get the nice industry. Plus two food, two production, two gold. This will actually make these mine mercury tiles usable. And this city can actually grow. Because right now this city is... Pretty bad, there's no food tiles around there. As for this guy, we're actually, we're gonna take care of this encampment to the south. What am I doing? We should just go for the builder and then chop her oak tails. Yeah. Oh, another hero, there we go. Finally got another hero. Excellent. Let's get rid of this builder, that is really bad. Start doing the hero. Yes. We're gonna get in the encampment right here, because that's what Yurvan actually wants. It is Use equal. Hercules' last charge. We're gonna keep all these the same. Lance of Bears for sure, because I think we need to buy this tile, yeah. Wait, is Lance of Bears effective? Any gold team's kind of expensive. There's another hero. Governor title, let's go ahead and choose Liang and put you right in the capital, because we're gonna be buying some builders there. Now we got both our heroes. We kind of used them all. So now we can just heal them up all the way and just get rid of them. Another relic, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. 
Hmm. Yeah, we can't get the relics from them. Two AIs have relics already? So I'm trying to think here. What should we do in our capital? I did start doing heroic tales for one turn or so. But now we know of a couple other heroes who so do not need to do that anymore. We are going into a golden age in two turns. So we're probably going to buy another city down here and chop this stuff. And just buy a bunch of builders. I guess we can just buy our builders in Liang and kind of move them over here, which is more than fine. But what would be most beneficial? Maybe this build a trader in here. We could chop the trader over here. Basically what we need to do is try to get enough gold that we can actually just buy these relics and stuff. All right, there's three Mercury sources. Here is the class Gora, turn 48, a golden age for us. We're, I feel like we're doing quite well. I feel like we could be doing better. Let's go ahead and choose Monumentality, obviously. Let's go ahead and chop this to get this trader done and go right for the highest gold we actually can see. Just go here. Now, what do we want to do? We want to buy a builder for here for sure to chop these three forests. I think I want to buy a builder up here for this mercury source. And we also probably want to buy a settler down here and then buy a builder here. Okay. All right. I think that's a good plan. Still have 149 faith left. Currency now for another 12 turns. A little unfortunate. Do we actually need to buy any more tiles? I wouldn't mind buying this tile over here, 80 gold. And that's all we really need to buy. Okay, we're gonna trade away a lot of our resources. Probably should've done this a few turns ago. 14 gold per turn. Let's go for flat gold and get as much kind of single gold as we can. There we go, 152 gold and six gold per turn. Wow, that's a lot. That is absolutely a lot. Let's go ahead and buy this tile. And we're gonna change our government policies up now. Let's just go right for urban planning. <laughs> yeah, we definitely want urban planning. Wait, do we have a... Uh... Okay, five turns we unlock our government. Let's just go for, let's go for urban planning. And that's really it. I guess conscription, sure. And now, let's see, do we have enough to actually buy some relics? Oh, they'll do it. 36, 209 gold. All right, let's buy our first relic. Our first relic of the game. That is so good. And then another one over here. No, 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 no. I can't believe two AIs have relics. Is this insane? This should be our fourth Mercury source, so we should become... There it is. Our first Monopoly. Yes. And our hero Hercules is at full strength. And now we can just delete this thing. Done. Make sure we're in a city. Okay, we're in Rome. We want to make sure we're actually at a city that has our religion. Otherwise, we will not get, you know, 300% triple whatever yield it's just no so nuts here chop it down 49 down to 38 oh man it's still it's still a lot of turns to actually you know win this game unfortunately alexander does not have a relic let's see we got open borders with actually oh you finally know what open borders are good that's great we can sell another source of mercury to our Alexander for 155 gold. We still cannot get the relic from the Mayan Empire. A little unfortunate. It would have been really, really good if we could. Nori finally got their Pantheon. <laughs> you know, after we had a religion for about 500 turns. Down to 33 turns. Let's see... Barbarian I'll boast all the way over there. I don't really care. I don't care about that one. It should be another Monopoly. Let's look here. Culture, 175. Four Monopolies. 
175. What? I thought all we needed was four of them. One. Wait, one, two, three. We still need this one. We only have three sources right now. Okay. All right. I was not mistaken. Mistaken. Let's go ahead and buy this tile. It's a lot of our gold, but it's okay. Can buy this tile too. Here, chop this down. 18 turns. Oh man, that's so many turns. Once we get currency, we're go then we'll have so nine turns still. Once we get currency, we'll actually be able to have the city be useful. We can also just go ahead and delete this thing. Another relic. And here's another one. Let's see. 350. 350% bonus. Turn 51. Oh man. And we already have, we have three relics. This is pretty good. Let's see. We're at zero. Zero out of 13. It's okay. We double check to make sure we have borders with everybody. Let's see here. Yep. Yep, we have on borders with everybody. Let's go ahead and 215 gold. That's good. Come on, Mayan. You don't want 315 gold and 20 gold per turn and five of this and these two things. Okay. All right, they're being greedy. They're being a little greedy. Let's go ahead and buy another builder here so we can chop another forest. There's Classical Republic. Let's go ahead and choose. Oh, Classical Republic. Go ahead and choose that government. Put land surveyors on there. And then, uh, yeah. Plus two gold, land surveyors, charismatic leader. That thing doesn't matter. Put on here and let's go ahead and buy this tile. Fall in this city. Oh, I don't want to delete this thing. And then go ahead and buy a builder here. And you go right for another hero. Okay, turn 52. Things are going okay. There's Byzantium. I think this is the last AI in the game now. Let's see. Let's go ahead and make a deal. You have another relic? No, they will, they will not give us this for like, man, that's so unfortunate. I can't believe the AIs have so many relics in this game. Okay, maybe now that Bravery. maybe they'll actually like us. We're kin, come on. You don't like us? Yep, none of the AIs, they're being so greedy. What's going on? Why are they being so greedy like this? 92 tourism already. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It is absolutely ridiculous. There we go, another hero. Nice to know ya. Goodbye. Thank you for your beautiful relic. 30 more tourism. All right, you, this city I don't care about anymore. Don't care about. Let's go ahead and move Magnus to the new city. Right there. We're at four to 13. Excellent. That's just so good, four is turn 55. Are you kidding me? Oh, I'd really love to actually get some more gold. Where'd your relic go? Oh, you're at with Alexander who loves me. You don't have a relic. Yeah, we still can't even trade with him. We, I mean, we can give him the relic, but that's not gonna happen. The Mayan Empire lost a relic. And it looks like to Alexander. Unless it was absolutely destroyed. I wonder if it was destroyed when the city was taken over. <laughs> One turn, culture dominant over three turn three cities. Holy smokes. Another one? Ten out of thirteen home. Is this gonna be pre-turn sixty? Pre-turn sixty. That would be spectacular. 10 out of 13. Man, I really want this relic so bad. Yeah, they, they won't give it to us. Oh, man. They will not give us a relic. 
Super unfortunate. We have to chop on this hero. Magnus established here. We finally got currency. Let's go ahead and chop this down. Got 59 to 58. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let's go work these tiles. Oh man, now what are you at? 42? Oh, it's still so many. 12 out of 13. Oh. Man, we definitely could have got like a turn sub turn 60 if we actually if we can actually get this relic. It's just gonna be game over now. 12 out of 13 tourism. Turn 59 right now. What are you doing? Yeah, whatever. Why why you why do you want my attention? Why do you want my attention? Sure, your delegation is most welcome. Thank you very much. Another Pantheon done. Hi, Alexander. And that's it. 15 out of 14. Turn 60. Turn 60. Turn 61. Turn 60. Is that turn 60 or 61? I don't even know. What is, what is a cone ass? <laughs> oh my goodness. 147 points. We're getting close. I'm trying to get zero. I don't think it's possible. So 56. Yeah, so these are all every five turns, it looks like, from this scale. So that is a turn 61. Oh, turn 60 would have been great. Turn 60 would have been great. If you want to try the save file, it is on the Discord server. The invite is in the description below. See if you can beat it. You know, we could have probably got a turn 50-something if we actually got these relics earlier. But uh, thanks for watching this one.